I was sitting at home, I was actually hung over. I'd been at a Christmas do and I was I had been watching uh, Love Hate because Killian Scott was a friend of mine and I was watching this for him and I loved it, I thought it was great. And I was acting at the time, I'd done it between the canals and I'd done a short film that was shortlisted for I just found out it had been shortlisted for an Oscar. So I was kind of thinking whenever I get a chance and then I got a call and I got the script and I was reading these scenes, the scene when you threaten Mary at the door and I was kind of going and I got an idea of this gangster that was a this character tug that was kind of highfalutin and delusions of grandeur and dressed well and thought he was better than other um, drug smugglers. Or whatever. I enjoyed the fact that he changes, I mean that he went through a serious curve from season two, the menacing fan to the kind of lovable rogue comedy, uh, the comedic value, comedy, comic relief, for want of a better description. Strangely, sometimes I think with Stuart, you have to be very careful that when you go out with Stuart, like when you finish a shoot, that you don't necessarily uh, do too much because he will take that and bring it into your role. That's all I say. What TV shows am I watching at home? Well, I'm awaiting the... Uh, penultimate episode of Breaking Bad. I just watched the last one last week. Um, so obviously I, I was addicted to that last year for a long time, fitting my days around Breaking Bad, fitting errors in here and there. Unique talents of many. No, uh, party piece, I, I normally sing a tune or do a Ronnie Drew skit. Uh, let me think. You might know a man named Ronnie Drew. It was about 1982, we were doing a lunchtime gig in Dirty We Amalgamated with a group called the Pogues. We were quite a fun man named Shane McGowan. Hey, I'll go back to the old triangle. The old triangle was a story written by Brendan Behan's brother about a jail cell. He saw love in a triangle. That's all I have for you.